my name is the clever fool today we're playing the third level of gajamata the oath to unify nusantara we just got an achievement uh the last level uh, in unconditional loyalty for reaching the king in under 10 minutes there's actually not going to be any more special achievements for the remainder of these levels so we'll go ahead and just jump in blind and see what happens as i feared our king died this afternoon from an unknown illness. In fast. his stead, Tribuana became queen regent. Her first act as queen was to retire the prime minister and give his position to me. Without hesitation, I swore an oath in front of everyone. I would not indulge in any pleasures until I had conquered the entire Indonesian archipelago for the glory of the Majapahit. Majapahit. I can get behind this music. Right, so our main objectives are to defeat two of the three enemies, and at least three colonies must exist and have a market. Our hints tell us that your population limit is restricted to 150. Uh, once one of your colonies builds a market, they will start sending you resources. Okay. Sending wood and food to your colonies will help them grow faster. Also nice. If a colony is destroyed, they will try to send more colonists later on. That's very important. So uh, the loss of a single colony isn't necessarily the end of the world here. Because of the restricted population limit and resources available, it is a good idea to rely on fortifications to defend your islands against enemy ships. Right, so it sounds like we're going to need a lot of stone this mission. The Sunda will not go on the offensive unless you attack them first or expand into their territory. That is why instead of destroying them immediately, you can choose to expand over sea first. Your scouts report that the Majapahit in red control the eastern half of the island of Java, while Sunda in blue controls the western half. Sunda is actually in yellow here, so that's wrong. They will not attack us unless we provoke them, but it might be in our interest to assert control of the island before expanding to the other islands. Sunda will train skirmishers and knights. Our colonies, in cyan, purple, gray, and orange, will start colonizing Bali, Sulawesi, and Borneo. These islands are to the east and north of our island and are rich in resources. West of Java, on the island of Sumatra, lies the kingdom of Dharmasraya in green. The kingdom wields a strong force of swordsmen, crossbowmen, ballista elephants, galeons, and fireships. Dharma's Raya is the most likely to regularly attack us. To the north lies Malaysia, part of the Asian continent. Here the Tumatik have grown free of their former overlords and have built the mighty city of Singapore. They compete with us over the control of the sparsely inhabited islands which we are trying to colonize. They focus on destroying our colonies before attacking our home island. The Tumazik will train arbalesters, champions, Cavaliers, bombard cannons, galeons, demolition, demolition ships, goodness gracious, how I read, and cannon galeons. Okay, so it seems like our main three enemies are the Tumazik, uh, the Dharma's Raya, and the Sunda here. Uh, and we're all Malay, except for Dharma's Raya, which I'm not sure what the Civ is, just based on the icon. Let's actually I am check that real quick. The Khmer. Alright. Colonists to the nearby islands. If you can protect them from our enemies, they can provide you with resources. Siap. Aku akan aku panumbang kai. Aku panumbang swasti. Okay. So it looks like what we've got here is a naval map on our hands. Uh. And what that means is that I'm going to want to be able to maintain a navy. I also want to utilize the Malay's bonuses on the sea. Uh, I'm sure that um, the I will first of all have control of the ocean, and also so that I don't have to spend valuable, valuable areas of land on tracts of farmland. I'm going to try to have my entire food eco be distributed by sea here. Aku 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 
start mining some stone for additional town centers. It's actually what I want to save my wood for, but it seems like I didn't have enough stone anyway. So it might be good to start mining. Our it. villagers are setting up a colony on the Okay, that's very good. First and foremost, the most important thing will be to get more wood choppers up. Here. If we can get more wood choppers up, then we'll have a steady stream of boats coming out. Which is really what we need here. <laughs> So let's make the effort and chop a few trees here. This seems like a nice spot to build a castle, doesn't it? It's almost it's almost inviting. It's like a perfect a perfect size for a castle, yeah. I'd say. So we got four on stone here. Uh, and that should be enough for now. We're gonna want as many more on the wood as we can. We continuously produce fishing ships and eventually start producing uh, military ships as well. We have a blacksmith. We do have a blacksmith. Seems like our colonists in uh, Teal here. A nice little island to build on. I don't think I'm going to be able to help them just yet. Mostly because I have to focus on my own development here. Settlers have arrived in Sulawesi. Oh, nice. And I can only assume that Sunda is going to be to the southwest here in the unexplored area. Let's build ourselves a town center outside. Continue constructing more fishing ships. Our next order of business should be to pick up Bodkin Arrow and convert boats. We're going to want to get uh, War Galley up so that we can get our fleet up to Castle Lake standards. Yeah, I've got a few land units here, but they're going to be needed to fend off transport ships if we see any. Fourteen fishing ships ought to be enough. Not sure how that long swordsman got to where we are. Let's build ourselves a transport ship. Start producing more villas. Actually, probably use a few more fishing ships here. I think our next order of business will be to get up a castle. food as possible for that. 
see him. Wow, yeah, the Sunja are very close here. And because we're has, we're actually going to be idle for the time being. Which is kind of troublesome. actually build a yep. university because we'll need one of those later. And we should start thinking about uh, moving villagers around elsewhere. Build a dock down here. Majapahe people are trying to set up a colony in southern Borneo. Got a transport drop on us. Kind of annoying, but it is what it is. Start building galleys. Let's pick up the gill nets. And start thinking about where we want to place our castle here. I feel like a castle back here would be prudent. I should be in the range of this area. Let's also grab a monastery. A few more villagers. Get a couple more fishing ships. We're short on food. We got plenty of gold though. Need that war galley upgrade. Just having regular galleys is not going to do it for us forever. See <laughs> Let's research the war galley tech. Move our fishing fleet back to this corner here. It's nice and safe. And we really need room to kill to kill Sunday here. I think we don't really have any other option. Just advance the castle age, so we're actually a decent amount ahead of them here. Let's grab a monk, do some more war galleys. And mine some more gold. There really isn't too much land to be had here. I guess we can expect the colonies to start helping us out at some point. We just managed to hold out long enough. I want to think about getting a couple of stables out. Let's grab a heated shot here, actually. Seems like that would actually be somewhat useful. Are those Galeans? Oh man. So we 
having a hard out class here for the time being. We need to figure out a way to get ourselves to the castle age. Or the imperial age, rather. I think our next priority here should be to try to kill Sunda. To do that, we might need to get ourselves to the imperial age here. of our fleet. That's over here. Should continue playing it safe. It doesn't look like Sunda is even that strong all that strong. Let's have these elephants clear out the green invaders here. Take out iron casting. Oh, we just got some gold and stone in tribute. That's actually wonderful. Those are the two resources that we really need. Particularly the stone for this level. Let's grab careening. here. Make sure our economy is still hustling and bustling. Let's get a couple of bell elephants out. And think about researching um, heavy plow actually. I know what I said about wanting to leverage the C bonus as much as I could. I'm still telling the truth about that. I still do want to leverage the C bonus. But I think it's also uh, important. That we uh, also have a source of food from the land, I guess. Let's grab masonry. an awful lot of units there, but we have a castle, so we should be okay. What kind of saddens me is the loss of the fishing fleet. Oh, we lost our fleet, which is unfortunate. To say the least. But we will have enough resources to mount an offensive against the Sunda soon. I kind of want to get to the Imperial Age here as well. We're getting pretty close. I think I'll buy the food and then head to Imperial. And just keep producing battle for this one stable here.
units after us, or cannon units now rather, that's actually kind of dangerous, we've managed to reach the imperial age, so let's build the harbors for some foremost, we got the chemistry, Racer for our castle as well. That is a lot of cannon galens. I don't wonder how we're expected to deal with these. The answer is just fire ships. This seems like we are fighting a slightly losing battle up there right here. They are still in the castle age, so we gotta remember that. Grab conscription. Still in okay shape here. Still alive. We got fast fires online now. So we got that going for us at least. Blast furnace. No fire ships. Oh my goodness gracious, that's a lot of boats. Let's get a second tribute online here. Settlements have reached northern Borneo. I think we have weathered at least the worst of it for for just a little while longer. Our teal settlers are getting completely rolled. Grab murder holes just so we don't forget about it later.
alive? He's still alive for the time being. Sinta is definitely proving to be a bit annoying to deal with. Yeah. We're still okay here. Let's grab the town patrol. Grab a gold. Lovely. We got gold shaft mining. Continue producing battle elephants here. Swasti. Swasti. Slow their attack for the time being. We got a ton of. We got a ton of fire ships, so we should be okay on the water for at least for a little while. I guess the main thing we should worry about now is producing units from here. Make sure that we have gold. people are trying to set up a colony in southern Borneo. Let's get more battle alleys out. Uh, and see if we can... No. Dry dock, I don't think it's worth it right now. We need more units. Could be worth it to pick up shipwrights. I think we should focus on getting some more ships. Getting these elephants out. How much does elite elephant cost? That's a lot of gold. I guess the good news is, is that that transport is done. This is just unfair. So few, so little areas of wood to get. Now we're actually desperately low on wood. It's okay. Let's grab light cavalry. So we can use those instead of just scouts. Running low on wood is definitely not good. Let's see if we can take out that boat with an elephant. Ooh, and that tower looks like it went down on its own. So maybe we'll get some breathing room here. Looks like the villagers have fallen idle as well. Let's build a few more fire yacht fire ships here. Sunda hasn't given up yet, but they should soon. I don't want to lose this castle either. So I think I'm going to repair it up. Let's buy some stone. We have no gold miners either. 
So the fact that, that this area isn't landlocked is really annoying to me. Because if I had known that the ships could just move like that freely, I would have been much more careful about creating a navy. Our villagers are setting up a colony on Bali. I think stand we're actually doing okay. Soon they seem to have been crippled. Let's try to finish them off here. I thought they would uh, give in, but they haven't yet. Sadly, I actually somehow have no gold, so we need to rely on these villages to get gold. Our armies, and we are ready to recognize your rule over Java. You have defeated our armies, and we are ready to recognize your rule over Java. <laughs> Thanks for repeating it a second time. Aku pemangun gedo, suasir. Aku pemangun gedo, sesama. Aku pemangun gedo. We get a crop rotation here. So we do. Let's pick that up. We managed to clear out Sunda, so we've got one out of the two enemies down. But now the question remains. How are we going to replace our gold? We should have no more trouble on the island here. Just good, but I actually know like very dreadfully little about everything else. <laughs> so we're kind of stealing the resources from the other colonies here. But I, I say do what's necessary in my opinion. Let's pick up, uh, let's save up some gold and pick up a ship, right? Wouldn't mind uh, siege of as well. Our colonies are not doing well. These colonists are getting absolutely blasted. And now we got plenty of food, plenty of wood. Our two trebs are still alive. Things are starting to look up! We 
Navy's actually completely shot here. We've got harbors, so we should be okay for the time being. A man of these attacks from green aren't annoying as hell. Let's get some more bills out. Cannon Galens. I do not want to lose this castle. It's gonna be close. Stone shaft mining here. We should really, really start thinking about. Uh... I'm gonna actually just check to make sure I'm recording. Good, good. That would be real bad. I wonder why my villagers aren't actually getting passed back to chop trees here. That 20 whole stone in tribute, look at that. The rich. Let's pick up Cannon Galen as well. Need as many docks online as possible here. Now, what I do like about this mission is that Thassilocracy is coming in hella clutch. Without the ability to build like defensive docks that actually do something, this level would have been a total nightmare. As it is, it's actually already pretty challenging.
I thought I might have had a friendly dock in there somewhere. But now I realize that that is probably not the case. Settlers have arrived in Sulawesi. Okay. Very good. Ah, yes. A one gold dock. That's very valuable. We need gold. That's the fact of the matter. And we don't really have it. We have plenty of food, but nothing much to do with it. Some paid stone here and there. It's a modest amount, but it is an amount. I lost a lot of wood chopping bills. Larger Pahe people are trying to set up a colony in southern Borneo. Okay, this is where Tumazik is. So, between Tumazik and uh, Dharmazraya, who do I want to defeat? I think it would be easier to do uh, Tumazik here. Probably be good for me to get a few colonists of my own over there. some gold that I would like to take. So I guess I myself am going to become a colonist. But nowhere near the pop cap either. That's 150 gold. I will take it. Gold is gold. I actually need a little stone here. I will build right here. And we need to defend our, our ships. Continue defending at home with white calves. Huh. I think this is a little bit of glitchy glitchiness here. I think those blues are meant to be destroying that dog. I just haven't managed to get around to it. Swastik. 
aku pembangun, aku pembangun, aku pembangun gedung. Aku yeah, I kind of want to run blue over with force levy, uh, force levy two-handed swordsman. Oh, let's actually clear these guys out. Let's see if we can uh, keep these guys up with uh, trade cogs, so I can get some more steady gold income coming in. Grab squires. Sure, how they got there, even. We should be able to clean out the green fleet over there now. See yeah. ya. And we should put these villagers on this boat, move them across the islands to get more gold and stone. The demo ships aren't very effective, and now they're actually landing on this island instead. Which is good for us. I don't want to lose my villagers here before I'm able to get a town center up. Got some more golden stone attribute, very good. Villagers back here. Pick up arson. Pick up uh, long sword. Want to be thinking about picking up two handed sword soon. See ya. Apa syarikatnya baginda? Aku akan mengerti. Now, at long last, it seems like our teal colony is uh, off off the hook here and our trade is getting set up nicely Swasti. let's get a tc set up bring this transport over here to get more villages over i see like a patrol of two-handed swordsmen there let's take this time to get our chainmail upgrades Settlers have arrived in Sulawesi. Nice. So it actually seems like, you know, blue is going to be our main target here. Let's grab two handed swordsmen. Large and high long people swordsmen. are trying to set up a colony in southern Borneo. Actually, let's hold off on that until we've uh, grabbed Force Levy. Don't really need food, I need gold. Let's have you guys drop over here. I'm going for wood. Galleons should kill themselves in my castle here. Okay, so we've got three colonies online, it seems. Now I just need to defeat another enemy. Force Lovey before our next Trev. <laughs> this is going to be a cramped colony. Uh, but you guys are in the way of my forward base. What can I say?
Okay, now Force Love is complete. We can start training two handed swords. Build a few more houses here. And what I find impressive is that I never managed to hit the pop cap until until this point. Like that means that the, it's a high intensity mission. I think that's pretty cool. Let's get some more harbors out. I actually kind of want to get uh, cannon games out. I did the lead tech. I feel like doing a water attack would be good. Apa shasananya baginda? Just a forward for them. I'd be very, very surprised if this is a serious. In fact, I'm fairly certain that this must have just been a forward. And that the actual base is nowhere near. And now, at long last, we've hit our population cap. Light cavalry or something, if only to free up some pop space for later. somehow died in the meantime. Looks like it was this northern one. And it appears I was right. There's much more than meets the eye here. Now our fleet is definitely the stronger one. Yeah. Losing 
just really new here. I would like to get some harbors on this western coast here. Oh, that demo ship almost got in. Not quite, but almost. Yasaku Oh, there goes a transfer ship that had my sword in a minute. Unfortunate. Okay, so I kind of stopped paying attention to the home front here, but we should be able to hold just fine. Blue's the one that produces the cannon galens, so as so long as we keep these guys suppressed, we should be okay. Complete building these harbors. I mean, the Tumazi have they have the right idea when it comes to building shoreline defenses, I guess. But it looks like they've got some farmland back here. That's exposed. Oh, 
Oh no. Okay. A moment of lack of with a moment's lack of discipline. Excuse me. We uh managed to lose a cannon game into a demo there. See how much of this level is left. Ah, uh, actually. Let's build a transport ship and get our light cavalry across here. Seems like we will need to uh, actually commit a land force to beating these guys. We are doing major, major damage to these scrubs. They can't have all that much land. Pump our transport down. Build a castle right here. And this is Blue's only base. We might actually just outright defeat them relatively soon. That's their TC out of the picture. Oh, I lost all my villagers here, so I'm actually going to delete that castle. I don't want to lose a stone. Stuck on two out of three colonies, sadly. So more villas, more villas over here. I thought that was a villager, but there's actually a two handed swordsman that we made a while. Okay, now we're getting uh, wood and gold, which is very nice. Let's see if we can sneak past the side to get more of blue. Can we pick up spies? 30,000 gold. That's gonna be a negative. 
Putting our boats to the gauntlet there. Guess more cannon galleons are going to be required. We actually get our navy through, but at what cost? Oh, we actually never even sent most of our cannon galleons in this direction. I guess that's a good thing. Let's build a forward castle. I'm hoping that we can just straight up defeat Blue here soon. That would be the cleanest way to do it. We have all three colonies now, again, once again, for the time being. They seem to have rebuilt the TC back here. Okay, now we have a fleet of just cannon dealings. Putting pressure on Tumazik here. I feel like if we destroy this town center and kill off the villagers, we'll be in good shape. Let's send some guys north once again. Have them completely surrounded. TC is as good as gone. I think that tower got self-deleted, which means we are almost there at long last. We surrender, but heed my words. Singapore will rise again. The Majapahit Empire is larger than ever before. Thanks to Gajamada. Long live the Majapahit Empire. Yes, very nice. It seemed like Green didn't even have any villagers left. Green didn't seem to have much of any fight. That actually probably would have been easier to just kill them. Uh, they, they didn't really have much of anything, aside from that one castle there. Oops, there goes my mic. Uh, still though, it's definitely a bit of a grind fest, particularly at the start. A lot of the pressure is front loaded. Um, your colonies, I don't think helping them is really worth anything. 
nor do I think uh, nor do I think much of the help that they provide. Um, when I think of resources, uh, I can almost always use resources better than my AI friends can. So I typically won't send resources because I'll be too be too busy using them to develop my own infrastructure. Um, but I do like how this level really highlights the strengths of the harbor tech as well as the strengths of having infinite fish traps here. And I like how it gave you like a little pocket here that was easily defendable so that you could keep a steady, steady income of food coming in. Uh, I like the pressure that was exerted by the transport ships. Um, those attacks coming in constantly was really cool. I like that uh, Sunda didn't immediately give up uh, without a fight. I like that they actually had some gumption despite being countered pretty hard by battle elephants. And I admire the tenacity of my friendly settlers, of course. Those guys are the real MVPs. Even my closest friends doubted me, but I proved my worth. One by one, our mighty armies and majestic fleets conquered the surrounding islands. From Bali, the island of the gods, to the old ruins of the Srivijaya Empire, all now answer to the Majapahit Empire, just as I said they would. Wow, that was a very, very short outro. Okay, cool. That's the third level finished. Uh, next time, I will be doing you know, the fourth level, serving the new king. Until then, my name's been the Clipper Fool. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.